Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about hiding folders and files, as well as securing them in a very basic way. We're not gonna be talking about making encrypted volumes with uh, TrueCrypt or, or anything like that. This is just for your basic general use case. Something maybe you wanna hide from your family or your siblings or you're just paranoid. Nothing that is super like super duper like secret and encrypted with a ton of different layers of security. So to start off, let's talk about hiding files. So I go over this in the article pretty in depth as I always say, but the way files are hidden in Linux and Unix especially is with the dot in front of file names and folders. So if I list my folder in my home directory, you can only see stuff without periods in front of it. And this means that these things are not hidden. But if I do ls-a, we can see these are all the period folders. These are all hidden folders that exist on my file system and files, blues folders and grays files. These are all hidden files. And uh, why are they hidden and how do I do that? Well, what you do is if you wanna make a hidden folder you would do mkdir, put a period first, then do test. And of course, if you want to put it in your documents folder, you do documents forward slash, or maybe you want it on your desktop and so forth. And you would do that. So now if we go to desktop, and I do a list, we can see pictures, we can see the done thing and uh, we can't see the folder, but we see it here when we do list all. And you can also do this with existing folders. So let's say the Firefox temporary binary folder that I made for some reason a couple days ago, say I wanna hide that. I can do MV and then I can do period, actually sorry, MV Firefox, temp binary and then I give it a new name which is just ff test now if I list it again it's not there you know you don't see ff test but I can do a reveal and it is right there hidden quick and easy way to hide folders this also works with files so I have an audiobook on my computer. It's uh, in the Plex. It's about Google and uh, their business and stuff. If I want to hide these for some reason, maybe I don't want anybody to know that I'm reading a book about <laughs> Google for some reason. And I can do MV in the Plex part one. Because I'm only interested in hiding part one for some reason. Give it a new name. Plex part one, MP3. And then just to make sure it's hidden, put a period in front of it. Now there is only one part. And I can also unhide stuff by once again moving it, doing uh, and then that will show our hidden Firefox folder that I just made earlier to be hidden. And we can also do this with the uh, files itself. So. and then just give it the new name. And then as you can see, back to normal. So that's hiding and revealing files. So another thing you can do by hiding files is you can actually encrypt them with the archive manager. Now this isn't as important as TrueCrypt, like I said, but this will work in a pinch. So let's start off. And this really depends on what kind of archive manager you have, because they're all different, but I'm gonna be covering the one that most people will use, which is the one that comes with the GTK desktops. So to start off, I'm gonna search for archive. Now this is a lot different than opening up my downloads folder and clicking compress. This is not what we're doing. What we're doing instead is we're gonna go over here, we're gonna click up here, new archive make sure you select zip and uh, 
this is where the file itself will be created. So this isn't what's being compressed, it's where it's created. So you type in the file name, and if you want to hide it, remember, as I said earlier, you use a period, and then just type in compress secret files. It really doesn't matter what you call it, but just put that in the way in front of it, and that will auto-hide it. And then you can go through the other options and set up a secure password. Go to the article, we have a link to a secure password generator, but just fill out a halfway secure password. And by default, the file list is encrypted, that's automatically selected. And once you click the Create button, the secret archive is made and it's password protected and all you do is go to your file manager and you just add whatever you want to it and click the add button when you drag it in there and it will add it to the compressed file and as you can see this is now locked so once the archive is made and locked up and hidden and everything we can go in here and we can look now I'm in the home folder here and as you can see it's set as compressed secret files and I showed you guys how to reveal this in the terminal earlier, so we're going to reveal it this time with the file manager. But as you can see, you just click show hidden files. And this is, once again, different on every file manager. It'll show up right here. And uh, your compressed secret file is there, and it'll be completely hidden from the rest of the world. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I will see you next time. <laughs>